Gary Miller is the volunteer coordinator at Cox Health in Springfield. He serves with over 400 volunteers and has worked with volunteers for over 20 years. He has a BA degree from Missouri State and is currently pursuing his master's. He is on the board of MAHBRP, the executive committee of the volunteer leadership group in Springfield. He is also the co-founder of Wellness for Warriors. Barry served in the U.S. Army from 1992 to 2003. Now that he is also a comedian ventriloquist, and in 2014, he was comedian of the year with the Artist Music Guild. Big round of applause. So let me tell you a little about me before we get into the presentation, and I'll be quick. So I've been with Cox Health as a volunteer since 2012. I go visit the children at, at Cox South. Been doing that since 2012. 2015, this position came up, and so I was able to get this position. I love what I do. Because so what is contagious leadership? I'm gonna read this to you. I met this young gal one time, and she really spoke to me and inspired me. And she goes, since I was 12 years old, I was always the one to run towards the pain rather than away from it. Now I have made that, that passion to help others who are in pain my career path. She has chosen to be a nurse. This is what she said. I love the fact that I, as a nurse, can make such an impact in someone's life, both physically and emotionally, by simply listening and providing a shoulder to cry on. I can be the turning point of a patient's outlook on their situation. I adore simply caring for others, and this is why I have pursued nursing. Five minutes after I met her, she inspired me, she spoke to me, and I asked her to write that for me, and she did. So who here has a business ID badge? All right. What does this mean to you? Is it important to you? It is. It identifies with what you do, but you know what? It's not who you are. It's not who you are. So what type of leader are you? Well, everybody's a leader. Now, if you feel like, I don't want to be a leader, guess what? It's too bad. You're leading somebody. Everybody's a leader. And we're going to talk about three leaders today that don't have a badge, <clears throat> that don't have that title, but they're leaders. This guy's name is Sean. And if I get emotional, I apologize in advance. Sean, Tommy Good has had a chance to meet Sean. Sean came to me. He was in a wheelchair. His lower left leg uh, had been amputated, and he did dialysis three days a week. Sean came to me and said, I want to make a difference. I want to help. I want to do something. So Sean went through the process to be a Cox Health volunteer. He started helping me at Cox North. Uh, he lived on the north side of town. And so he helped. He first started as an art therapy volunteer with our patients at Cox North. And because of his schedule and their schedule, it just wasn't working out. And so he came to the information desk. He was phenomenal with the phone calls and the patients and the walk-ins. He was great. Well, Sean would always communicate with me and engage with me. Hey, what if we did this? Maybe we should do this. And it was just awesome. It was so refreshing. that here's a guy with all these challenges that was initiating things to see change. Sean ended up going to a, a, a nursing care facility. And then Sean would then, once he was feeling better, he reached out to me, how can I still help? Wow, that just spoke to me. So I went and visited with him and we created this game plan. Sean, when they have events here at this location, I want you to wear your Cox Health shirt and your Cox Health ID badge that says you're a volunteer. And I want you to help with those events. He said, I'll do it. So the Thursday before Memorial Day, I went and did a show for them. Sean was there. It was packed out, standing room only. Of course, there was only room for three people. <laughs> <laughs> Sean was there and had a great time. And it was so exciting. And he was ready to get engaged with that community. And he had already started, in fact. Well, the next week was Memorial Day, I was off, and so um, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I got a phone call that he had passed away on Memorial Day. Sean inspired me. Sean, who did dialysis three days a week, who 
that had a wheelchair, who lost his lower leg, he said, I want to do something to make a difference. Sean was a true leader. So my question throughout this whole presentation is what kind of leader are you? Richard, what can I say about Richard? He was a high school teacher. He was a Drury professor. He even had an article that was in the library at Drury uh, for a long period of time for the students to see how to write <laughs> and what to say until a very, very deadly illness almost took his life. He had to learn everything again. Richard came to me, oh gosh, about three or four years ago. He said, how can I help you? I want to help. He lived in Seymour. And so he had a friend that worked in Springfield. So when his friend would come to Springfield to work, he would drop off Richard so Richard could volunteer. Richard volunteered in like five different areas for me on both the north side of town and the south side of town. Great, great, great help. And he just, and, I'm, and so if you've ever been in Farrell Duncan, they just about two years ago, they remodeled the bathrooms. Richard called me one day. He goes, Carrie, they just remodeled the bathrooms. And those, the signs are just up against the wall. Nobody can see where they're at. I said, okay. So in a matter of days, they had those signs facing out. That was Richard. He was just, he looked around, he checked around, he very engaging. And so Richard called me up one day and he goes, my ride to Springfield, um, he's retiring. And so I'm not going to be able to get to Springfield to volunteer. He said, but I still want to help you. So Richard and I, we sat down, I went out to see more. We talked about this. And at Cox North, we have a sewing program where we make red heart pillows. We make little uh, teddy bears for the kids. We make blankets. In fact, this year, we just started making patriotic blankets for our veterans uh, patients. And so it's really cool what's going on with our sewing program. And so now what we do, we send items to Richard to work on at his house. He then finishes them or puts them together and Home Support, which is now changing their name, they actually take the stuff to him in Seymour, and then when he's done, they pick it up and bring it back. And Richard and I just spent a couple days ago, about three hours, four hours together. And so, um, and even that day, he said, Kerry, let's think of other ways that I can help. He is a leader. He doesn't have this badge. He has a volunteer badge, but it doesn't say leader on it. But Richard, ever since I met him, has been a leader. So my question is, what kind of leader are you? See, the title of this presentation is Contagious Leadership. So my wife and I, we were church hopping. You ever done that? If you go to church, maybe go from this, you know, Tommy's a pastor, and we went and visited his church, but I didn't like the preaching. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking around and then, uh, uh, but I really care about people. So we visited a church in Nixa, and they that particular weekend they said we're wanting to start a celebrate recovery, but we want to we need to find people that want to do this. And I went home that night and I talked to my wife and I said I really feel like this is where we're supposed to be. And so every Sunday morning right now we're building up leaders to create a program that is already in place, but to for, for our church to have a celebrate recovery. So every Sunday we meet and have a class called Life Sealing Choices. Arthur, so when I threw my name in the hat at the church to help with this team, they introduced me to Arthur. Arthur um, spent most of his life in California. He was actually a sponsored surfer and he did drugs for over 40 years. Yeah, and uh, so Arthur has been clean for eight years, and he was gonna help build this team to help other people recover from addictions and from hangups and all kinds of stuff. And so Arthur actually, before I got to meet him, he was having a meeting with the pastor, but the day before, Arthur found out he had phase four lung cancer. And so Arthur decided, I'm going to go in this meeting with the, the, the pastor, and I'm going to let him know what's going on. And so they said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to keep moving forward. 
So I got to meet Arthur and we just really connected. And then just recently, Arthur went in for a checkup and they found out the cancer has spread to his liver. But not Arthur, not Arthur. And so we were bringing people in, we're doing this life saving classes and, and he was getting ready to go in one day to do chemotherapy, but his, his eyelid was drooping. He said, Doc, my eyelids are drooping. And they said, that's not good. That's not good. So instead of doing chemotherapy, they did another MRI on cancer in the brain. So now Arthur has cancer in the lungs and in the liver and in the brain. And so we decided to videotape his story. So he came over to our house um, two different days and we broke it down to four segments. And Arthur, um, he actually spoke at a church last weekend and we're getting ready uh, to take him where my son works full time, Freedom Dream Center in Aurora. And he's gonna share his story down there. But Arthur is a true leader. He's a contagious leader. He has impacted lives. Um, in the lives he's impacted the most right now is his family because of what he's going through. So yesterday and today, Arthur is going through some very intensive um, procedures with his brain. And he said, buddy, when I get out, I'm going to set up a meeting with my son. I already talked to my son about it, and we're going to go out there because he wants to share his story to the students out at the Dream Center. This is funny. Hello, Arthur. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Okay. So what we're going to do, Arthur, I want to hear about your story, like when you were born, and at what point did you see you had a change in your life? Now it's your turn. <coughs> I just want to ask you a question. What type of leader are you? Send somebody a text or a phone call and tell me you appreciate them. Let me tell you something. Leadership is so much more than a badge. So much more than a title. It is who you are inside. That's what makes you. I think if we can have this mindset that every day, we can impact the lives of those around us. Wow. You see, Sean, he inspired me. I've got both my legs. I'm not in a wheelchair. He inspired me. And Richard continues to inspire me. And Arthur, who's going under major procedure right now as we speak, yesterday and today, when I get out, let's go reach some more people. That's what leadership is. So I just want to encourage you. It's not about Monday through Friday. It's not about 8 to 5 or 9 to 5. It's about who you are inside. So I want to ask you one more time. What type of leader are you? I want to challenge you today to be a contagious leader. So when people see you, They'll know something's different about you. And they'll say to you, what can I do next? <laughs>